Hi everybody, you want to show excess supply through the price mechanism, not through a minimum price. How do you do it? Two ways of doing it. Let's start by looking at one way. We want to label the excess first, price and quantity. Next thing, we want to draw an equilibrium. So demand and supply, and label as you go along. Equilibrium price and quantity at P1 and Q1. Very good. One way of doing this is by shifting supply to the right. If you shift supply to the right, remember, initially, the price stays the same at P1. All right? So now with this new supply, at P1, demand remains at Q1, but supply is now here at QS. So what you can do is shade in this little triangle here and label that excess supply. All right? So what happens now is Adam Smith's invisible hand will get to work. This excess supply will be rationed by providing a signal to producers that they have too many stocks in their warehouse or that if they're a restaurant, there are lots of tables not filled, they're not selling the stuff that they, that they have made or that they have in their shops. And therefore, there is an incentive to lower price and make more profit. And we get to a new equilibrium of P2 and Q2. But that all happens afterwards. Initially, there is this excess supply which needs to be dealt with. Okay, So that's one way in which you can show it. How we hit the key points in our checklist, how we labeled our axes, yes. Have we labeled our curves, yes. Have we labeled our equilibria, yes we have. Have we shown and clearly labeled the excess supply, yes. We haven't rushed too far ahead, which is a big risk when it comes to drawing diagram. How else could we show it? Well, we could shift demand to the left. Let's do that now. Okay, so by shifting demand to the left, we can also show an excess supply. We need to label our axis again, so price and quantity. Let's show equilibrium, demand supply, equilibrium price and quantity here. Let's shift demand to the left from D1 to D2. At the same price, supply remains here at Q1, but now our new demand is here, it's called a QD. Supply is higher than demand. This triangle, just like it did before, tells us that. We can label that as the excess supply. And then again, Adam Smith's invisible hand gets to work um, and we end up at a new equilibrium of P2 and Q2. All right, so the rationing function, the signaling function, and the incentive function, as it has done in previous videos, as explained, takes us to a new equilibrium here. But we have shown the excess supply, which is what we wanted to do. Have we labeled our axis? Yep. Have we labeled our curves? Yes, we definitely have, beautifully. Have we labeled the equilibrium? Yes, we have. Have we shown and labeled clearly the excess supply? Yes, we have. Excellent. All right, so that's how you do that, um, either by shifting supply to the right or shifting demand to the left. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.